In this section, I'm going to be talking about a little bit different topic than the administrative activities and tasks that we can do in Google Workspace Admin Console. And in fact, I'm going to get out of the Admin Console completely and I will talk about Google Sites. So Google Site is one of the great applications and services that you can find in Google Workspace. And the reason I'm talking about this, and the reason I'm dedicating this section to Google site is because actually this is, as mentioned, one of the great and awesome applications that you can use. It will encourage the collaboration and it will encourage the creativity with or for the user who is using that. You will be able to easily build and distribute sites without even writing a single line of code. And you can also have some level of customization as well on that site if you wanted to have. So when your users will see how easy it is to make a portal or an internal dashboard and share those internally or externally even between the department members or divisions or even with to the customers or vendors or partners then they will actually start do more and you will see them collaborate more without even you do any effort or without your intervention to show them what they can do and all of that so what I'm going to be covering here in this section is first of all I will give you a little idea about what is Google Sites I'm sure that you're familiar with Google site, what it is and all of that, but it does not hurt to make sure that I mention a few points that will make it more relevant and it will actually, you know, light some ideas in your head and maybe applying those ideas in the organization and so on. Then I will talk about some possible ways that you can use Google sites for. And basically there are a lot of integrations between Google Sites and the other applications in Google Workspace. And then I will go a little bit technical in terms of what are the settings and what are the options that you may have in Google Sites and what are the available sharing permissions for you. Actually the sharing permissions and the settings for Google Sites, this is something that I have covered in the application settings before. But now you get to see it in action and you get to see what we can do and what, what are the effects of these settings whenever we change any setting or whenever a user wants to do some action where you have a setting that has been changed from the Google Sites in the Apps Management. And then I will end up with four separate demos to close this section with. And I'll start with the most common use case and the, let's say, the easiest form of using Google Sites, which is creating a Google Form page and creating the actual questions page and then the answers page as well. And then I will show you how you can embed Google Drive folder or a shared drive in a Google Site so you can create a document library and after that, I'll quickly build a simple intranet website or a simple intranet portal that you can actually get some ideas from and build something similar for your organization where you can add some set of internal applications or some set of contact information for important or key people in the organization. So there are a lot of options and there are a lot of stuff that you can do in here. And finally, I will close with a demo to show you a project tracking dashboard and a portal as well. So with this, I will create a sheet, which will be the project plan and the project tracking. And in that sheet, we'll add some charts and some diagrams and stuff like that. And then we'll link this sheet to a Google site. And also I will link some document libraries and all of that. We actually used to use those in our organization in previous projects that I have used actually. I have created a portal and it was really nice actually and the customer did like it and it was some good way to present the capabilities and the integrations between Google Workspace applications and the services in there. So this is in a nutshell what we're going to have in the Google Sites section and to start with, the next video is going to be about a little introduction for Google Site and what we can do in Google Sites and you know some general talk about it and then we'll go to use cases and after that the demos.